So with regards to deposits, the minimum that is acceptable is a 5% deposit. That means that you need to have 5% of the property price in savings. Now with anything, you need to pass the lender's criteria and their affordability calculations. Just because you have 5% doesn't guarantee that you will get that mortgage available, but it's the minimum requirement. The next level is at 10%, uh, where you would see currently a slight drop in interest rates. And again, it's all dependent on credit score uh, and what's currently available with those particular lenders. In some instances, and I've had this with very good friends of mine, we applied for a 95% mortgage because they only had a 5% deposit. And once the credit score was done, because of a limited amount of credit on their profile in the past, they actually reduced the amount that they could have and insisted that they had a 15% deposit. Now again, that's all based on credit score and it's based on their individual circumstances. So this isn't saying that it's gonna to happen to you. And certainly we still found them a mortgage because we just changed lender to somebody else who would accept the 95%. Um, so deposits are key. The larger the deposit, the better it can be for you. Uh, but again, if you need advice or you're looking to find out what interest rates are applicable to you, then certainly get in contact and we're more than happy to help and answer any questions that you might have. Thank you very much.